let's uh, focus on what's going on in D Street. Uh, Nimesh joins us to tell us exactly that. Well, Nimesh, a quiteish kind of set session, but we're trading fattish, you know, yeah. consolidating before the big outcome. So, relatively, uh, I mean, I won't say too much of volatile, but there is still volatility in that 100 points band yeah. for the Nifty. But the good part is that we're consolidating with a positive buy, so that's that's a, that's a positive thing. I guess, uh, you know, no big surprise from the from the fifth phase has been a bit of a positive thing. And which is why a lot of momentum stocks, the PSU stocks are buzzing in trade today. Yeah. I guess uh, from a volume point of view, it's a, it's a high volume day because there is a lot of institutional participation on both sides. So the flows uh, may not be very large on either side, mm -hmm. but, the, but the gross number may look quite large because the participation is on the high side. That's the that's a broad feedback. I guess metal is a, is a sector we've been talking since morning. The index is up 4%, big rally in a lot of the, lot of the metal stocks. But apart from that, there's a bit of momentum back in the PSU names as well. So whether it's, whether it's you know, the, the rail PSUs or for that matter, the defense PSUs, all are buzzing in trade. And, and that too, I guess, in anticipation that maybe, you know, the, the fifth wave was quite strong yeah. and we're heading for a, for a decent number. So that, that probably seems and explains a bit of momentum in the, in the, in the PSU names. But uh, uh, again, you know, uh, uh, there is a bit of, uh, you know, f a bit of risk factor as well. There are some larger HNIs who wants to play a little safe, mm -hmm. and they're not, you know, aggressively participating in this upside. So it's a mixed kind of feedback. But from a flow perspective, it's a high, uh, high volume day. All right, you know, Nimesh, on the point on metal, GSW Steel, they came out with a set of numbers on Saturday. That small trading session, the stock was down two and a half percent, and from there it's bounce back everything. Sale, sometimes you're in doubt. The debt is going too high for the timing. The is saying, let's see that later. Forget everything. Just well, buy into the dip. Stock was yeah. down one and a half percent in the morning. It's up close to two percent now as we speak. But tell us more. What about individual stocks? So there are a lot of uh, stocks which are buzzing in the individual individual names. So the first stock on my list is Aptus Value Housing. That stock is under pressure after a large block, nearly seven percent equity got changed hands. I understand. The private equity investor who is part of the promoter entity, uh, they were sellers in today's block and a couple of mutual funds and some family offices were buyers. So the disclosures could be quite interesting in, in Aptus value. The second name is Timken. Uh, big mover in that stock after the, after the Q4 numbers uh, and it is rallied pretty hard as well. But now I understand there's going to be another large block deal very soon. Remember last time the promoter entity sold 8.5% stake at a 14% discount and it got easily sold out in a single day. So again, there is a, there is a buzz that maybe you'll see another large block very soon. The third name is MTA Technologies. That one buzzing on good volumes. The, 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 there are buy flows as well. A couple of reasons why the stock is buzzing. One, there is a uh, Motila Loswal's initiating report as well. They expect a 30% upset from current levels. And I understand the supply from a larger FI seems to be largely over in MTA Technologies. And the last name is Voltum Transformers. It's not a very high, high liquid stock, thinly traded, but uh, f surprisingly, there, are, there, are, there is an institutional interest in that particular name in today's market. And hence, that stock is also buzzing up 400% on some decent volumes. <clears throat> okay, all right, uh, Nimesh, uh, thanks very much. By the way, on Timken, uh, are you kind of sort of hearing promoter, uh, another round of promoter selling? Well, looks like, uh, you know, the that's, parent? Well, looks like, Prashant, that's the, that's the kind of indication that I'm picking up. Remember, even last time uh, that, that Timken Singapore sold 8.5% stake at a 14% at a discount. So, uh, wow. it, was lapped, it, was, it was well bid at that point in time. But after this rally and, and big move, need to see how this goes. But again, there is a, at least there is an indication that maybe a large block is coming very soon. Absolutely. Uh, stocks up uh, at about 20% this year uh, already. So that is Timken, uh, 39, 34. Timken, Whirlpool, some of the stocks, MNC names, which have seen some selling from their parent entities. Uh, Rahul Mohinder is with us.